I published uh, with Oxford University Press uh, in 1997 a book called a Legacy of a Divided Nation, India's Muslims Since Independence. And I'm very happy that uh, the book has run into, uh, I think, four or five uh, reprints and is now also part of an omnibus collection. Uh, and incidentally, since then, I have published as many as 20 books with the Oxford University Press and I'm very glad that I've done so. The number of books that uh, are sold uh, probably don't run into thousands, but the number of books that are read uh, in India, in South Asia generally, is much greater uh, than perhaps in the United Kingdom. Although the literacy rates are not comparable. So uh, obviously this has made a considerable uh, difference. So you buy a book for a library, it is read by 200 people. So, so in real terms you are only selling 500 copies, but in actual fact maybe 5,000 people are reading the same book. Oxford uh, has published some of our foremost historians. Well, I think uh, it has uh, made available to us uh, some of the best writings on ancient, medieval and modern Indian history. Uh, and I think that's a very, a very important role. Uh, the other important thing is that by publishing these very distinguished historians like Professor Irfan Habib and uh, Professor Ramila Thapar and several others, uh, there is an, uh, a constituency that uh, Oxford University Press is able to create outside India.